guys welcome to another video so today I got this at Walmart and I got this at the Walmart in Denver and I was not expecting to find this I mean just look at this dun 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 it is the new Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Camp Cretaceous Extreme Chompin Spinosaurus and oh my goodness it is so cool you guys so I was not expecting to find this so um I um so there was like three at this and I got one of them there's three at the Walmart in Denver so I got this one and um yeah this figure is really hard to find so yeah it's very rare so I actually have a little story about how I acquired this figure and you guys may want to hear it because it's really interesting well maybe not but it's interesting to me oh there's Bo he uh probably heard a little scratch that's actually Bo peeking at me oh there he is hi buddy there's See him? He's alive. There he is. So yeah. Uh -uh. So here is the story. So I actually went to Target one day. This was like in May this year, and I was looking for Jurassic World stuff, and then. I saw the the Amber Collection Pteranodon and Tiger Stripe Velociraptor. I'm like, wow, these are cool, and I got them. And then I saw this, and I was like, ooh, this just came into the United States. That's what I said. And yeah, this actually just came into the United States. So I started like playing with this little button here, and then, um. I didn't get it for some weird reason. Then the next day I was gonna get my braces done and I don't know, but I always get prizes after. And then I was excited to get this and they didn't have it. And I was like, oh no, because I think they accidentally sent one of these to Target on accident. So yeah. Um, so, um, two months later, or no, one month later, I see everybody getting it, and I'm like, oh no, I should have got it, and then, and then we ordered, we got one for pre-order on Toy Wiz, and then, um, it never shipped, and now we're, we're starting to wonder if it will ever ship. I mean, the, the, the website could have been unsecured, I don't know. Because one time we ordered off of an un, unsecure website, the dinosaur farm, and our thing never came, so yeah. Why you don't order from unsecured websites? And yeah so today we went to the walmart in denver and i was looking in the toy section and i saw a bunch of jurassic world stuff then right down there on the bottom of the shelf i found this and i was like <gasps> i was super excited about it and i got it and now oh my goodness it is the most beautiful spinosaurus i've ever seen in my life even though it's probably not a it's not accurate it's okay so here is kind of like a size comparison with the Extreme Chomp and Tyrannosaurus I got for my birthday. So as you can see, this Spinosaurus is a great deal bigger and it is uh, very nice. As you can see, let's see the jaw opening. So the T-Rex opens like pretty wide. If I can press it, so there's the T Rex's wide open. 
open mouth. So this is as far as it can open. Then the Spinosaurus can open a lot wider. So so yeah, like uh like a few bow. So yeah, Bo's barking now. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some scissors. I'm very scared about this. Not protecting my things. Stop coming! Okay, buddy, I'm gonna come in for a second. Okay, I'm really scared about this. So, yeah. gone for like a few seconds so yeah let's get this out of this box but before that we should take a look at the box so the figure looks pretty nice and then you can see here are all the characters on the front here and then here's some of the other characters right here and bumpy here's the back of the box looks pretty cool i think mattel did a way better job on figures than Hasbro did. Even though the Hasbro figures were pretty good and probably my favorite Hasbro Jurassic World figure was the Ceratosaurus. That's awesome. And then, yeah, got the Camp Cretaceous logo and the other dinosaurs that you should look for and I already have these, so yeah. Then here we got a nice little kind of scene of the camp on the back. And I'm, at, and I'm actually going to pottery camp this week. So yeah, I'm starting on Monday. And yeah, I do pottery camp every summer. So yeah, let's get this out of the box, you guys. I've been waiting for this day. Okay, and oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, whoa. I should have known that it's still attached to the box. <coughs> I definitely should have known that. Okay, so there is some little ties on the bottom. So I believe you do this. Then you like twist it. Then this one is out. And do this one. Twist it. And now, whoops, not still a mile. Twist it, and now the whole figure's out! Oh my goodness! So beautiful. So good. Okay, so starting on the review. So the face is extremely well done. See if my camera's focusing. Oh, it's focusing pretty good. So the face is really cool. As you can see, he has a cool orange eye. They press the button on the back. He has a big chomp. It's really cool. And then he's got a big stripe. And this is huge legs that move. And then his feet move. And then his arms move. And then his tail moves. And also, you guys, um, the sail is kind of like a hollow, kind of rubbery material. It's not really rubbery, it's still the same plastic, but yeah, the whole figure actually looks incredible. So, yeah, so that is the Extreme Chomp and Spinosaurus from Mattel. I really hope you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe, so yep, bye! Here's the final look, so yep, goodbye everyone!